Hello, welcome to a new page in the book for Max 8. This is tutorial number one, how to download and install Max 8. We're really going to do it, so let's just get right to it. We'll go right over to Cycling 74. I'm going to get a new window up here, pull it up there, type in here cycling74.com you'll get this page you could see what's new in Max but you don't want to do that you want to download Max 8 and here we are we've hit download Max 8 here it is and if you're looking for Windows you'll want to push this button and go to looking for Windows oh let's try it out and there's the new version for Windows you'll notice it is Windows 64-bit processing there is no longer a 32-bit processing option available. If your computer is a 32-bit processor, you're out of luck. You're going to have to stick with Mac 7. And looking for Mac, the same thing. This is Mac OS X. They don't even say it anymore, but it's only 64-bit processing as of Mac 8. Mac 7 runs in 32-bit, also 64-bit. So um, if you're still running in 32-bit only, it's either time to upgrade your computer or time to make an extra archive of Mac 7. So let's get on with it. We'll just download. I work on a Mac, which is good to know for future information. Um, sometimes I don't know how to do shortcut keys in on a PC. Um, I try to research them, but uh, I just don't have a PC, so uh, it's all I can do. Uh, but I do know them in Macs and I in on a Mac, and I will tell them to you when I can. Look at that, speedy internet. We're almost done with our download here, and there it is. And I'm going to say, show it in the Finder, and. Here, we'll get rid of that one just to keep it clean here. Um, it was unconfirmed uh, download. There it is. Okay, so there's our Max 802 disk image. We will double click it to get it to open click agree this is the computer world you agree with everything and there it is so you can just take this max icon and pull it over here to this folder which is your application folder Oop. wait there we go on some computers I've noticed this doesn't work so if that works for you great the other thing you can do is um, just go down to the disk image which should be right here oh great I already tried this out today and you can just take this max and drag it right into your applications folder there's applications there's max drag it right on in there and let it go so now it's copying it over there and while it does that we'll just uh, click over to applications make our window a little bigger here clunk it's there so let's go down and get it now I've been teaching Max for a number of years here so you can see I've got Max 5, 6, 6.1 and here oh sorry even Max 7 and here's Max 8 all right. One of the things that I like to do um, is to pull the icon right down here into the uh, dock in a Max, in a Mac. I wish I could stop saying that. And um, we're gonna go ahead and launch it. You'll notice Max Seven is running. That's because I do my titles in Max as well. So I need at least one version of Max running to, to have the title for the video. So let's launch Max 8 and if you don't know how to keep this in the dock if you've already launched the application you just hit the control key and you click on this 
you go up to options and you say um, here it would say keep in dock now I would have to remove it from the dock is my only other option because it's already staying in the dock so there we go let's launch it and since this is a first run we're doing this for real here I threw all my other Macs uh, applications uh, Max 8 in the trash so that we could do this for real. Max is an application downloaded from the internet. Sure, of course we'd open it. And since it's the first run, sometimes it takes it a little tiny bit to get started and look around your computer and decide where it's going to keep all of its special parts and install it. So we'll give it a moment to do that. Um, <laughs> Hopefully I didn't click on the Chrome window. I'm just going to click on Max again. Ah, see, I did. I accidentally clicked on the Chrome window. So here we are at the Welcome to Max. Would you like to see what's new? Yeah, you could, but that's not what we're about here. Not right now. We just want to make sure that it's installed. And there it is. And we're going to do one more thing, and that is open a new window. So on a Mac you would hit command that's the little cloverleaf thing and an N I believe on a PC that would be control N and you'll see when the window comes up that there's this little green thing here that says trial not started saving disabled so you can do all the stuff you want to with Macs um, but you won't be able to save anything but there is a 30-day trial so um, and I recommend you take advantage of that trial, but let's go ahead and just click on this. And this will sign into the authorization window. Um, for me, I can sign in, but if this is the first time you've been doing it, you're going to want to come over here and say, create an account. Then you'll have to create your account, and then you'll get your 30-day trial. I, on the other hand, simply sign in. Um, Whoops. Can't type today. Secret, secret, secret. Don't want you to hear the keystrokes. Oh, what are they? Let's see if I get it right there. There we go. So, there's my license which I already bought before and, <clears throat> and there we are I'm all done so I've authorized Max and you'll notice when you come back to this window there's no little green thing there so that's it Max is now installed on our computer and I think that's enough for today I'm gonna show you how to get started in Max in the next video but uh, that's all for today. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.